Welcome to Skill Talk, powered by Skillverse Excellence. I am Ukrash and today I have a very special guest with us, a renowned professor of physics and material scientist, a teaching journey about 25 years, an author of more than 100 plus research articles, publishing throughout the national and international journals. Um, he has guided more than 10 plus uh, scholars and mentor many of the scholars uh, at international and national level. Uh, let us welcome Dr. Mukul Agwama. Uh, it, it's, it's very uh, honored to have you here, sir. And, uh, and, and I, I welcome you all from, from the Stillworth Excellence family. So just, just uh, to let us our viewer know, uh, tell us something about you, your journey, and, uh, and, and why we are here today. To you, sir. Okay, so, <clears throat> Namaskar, everyone, and to all. And, uh, since uh, last year, 25 years, I am uh, involved in the teaching profession. And I am presently working as a professor and head of the Department of Physics. And uh, simultaneously, I am also engaged with uh, uh, research work actively in experimental as well as uh, uh, computation. Like a mathematical modeling too. And as uh, yes, uh, I have mentioned by uh, Mr. Lucas, that I have graduated so many students. And uh, recently, we are working uh, in a very special field of uh, material modeling, and that is actually uh, DFT based histories. And uh, now, this one term, buzzword, is being used that is the quantum computing. So, that is actually the part of that quantum computing. And I am, uh, we are also just uh, continuing this work using the data from the machine learning different type tools. So, uh, this is a very uh, recent, and recently, this is the uh, very actively research work uh, doing uh, involved, in which uh, the complete world is involved in the material field. Okay, so, so uh, as I is saying that uh, this new field which has been introduced, this machine learning, deep computing, and we got so much of computation involved in each, each of these fields, be it physics, uh, nanomaterial, science. Many of our viewers are fascinated with this, with the application of computing in the physical or chemical uh, field, and the combination of these interdisciplinary things. We have these things uh, which has been taught in a theoretical way, then we have a computation, we see a practical example. Uh, I used to visit your lab where I used to see that you are visualizing the elements in the computers and your team uh, used to, you know, uh, that the parallel array of the computing units were running some computations for day and night and we used to have that thing, you crush, see this graph, we have come up with an output and uh, I used to follow that. So, sir, please tell us uh, about that key. How you plan, how your team plan, or in a, in a nutshell, how this field of computation and DFT and all those things have a practical implementation and how one um, person who is really involved in physics uh, and want to really explore this field. I know some theoretical knowledge. I keep reading article journals and uh, news articles where we hear about that, okay, computational science has done these uh, researches or help or aided in these researches or uh, how the computational field, uh, the word you have used TFT, uh, quantum computing, is evolving. And how you see this? How uh, just a new uh, person who has just come into this field, uh, came into this field, want to explore this field? How one can begin? And what are the future prospects? And, and, and I'd really like to know your insight as you are in this field for more than 10 years. I've been following you, I've been uh, following your team. And I really wanted to know your view, okay, how one must see this field right now as you see the boom of all those things. Uh, uh, now, the accessibility of these tools, accessibility of these uh, computational uh, units, cloud computing. Uh, how you see this? Uh, what is your insight and what is uh, your message? The, this is how one should see this thing uh, as an opportunity, as a learning and uh, the practical implementation to those uh, things. So, first of all, uh, this is the introductory field. Uh, 
uh, one cannot uh, just confine in physics only. This is uh, related to medical physics, biophysics, chemistry, material science, and uh, uh, engineering aspects also because this is interdisciplinary. And, and this is also a big challenge with uh, making people to involve on these persons, uh, in interdisciplinary persons in a single platform because uh, that the subject knowledge that is related to this, uh, this is actually related to that quantum uh, physics based um, studies and that quantum physics is um, a core physics parallel to classical physics and uh, this very advanced level physics, quantum physics and a person related to that uh, in the field related to that engineering or in bio or in uh, bio from biophysics and chemistry people and uh, we are just uh, collecting together uh, to work on a single platform of EFT. So this is a big challenge but it's a simple thing because uh, uh, from the beginning of my PhD work I was working in an experimental lab. Uh, but I have I just prepared some material and I tried that material and I showed you some properties. But what uh, that the change in the properties in uh, at a different temperature at a different pressure, uh, it uh, actually um, requires uh, lots of physics to uh, understand that the property. As well as always, I um, uh, try to know what uh, is actually. Being inside that materials in atomic level or the electronic level because that is actually the bulk properties. So, uh, the beauty of this field this is uh, uh, that uh, we can think up to the levels of electrons, we can visualize the distribution of electrons, we can visualize the distribution of elect electrons uh, around uh, a particular atom uh, in a particular molecule, and we can. Uh, Observe the change in the properties in presence of electric field, in presence of rays and other uh, physical parameters. So on this screen, on this screen, uh, one can observe the properties, change in the properties in the different physical parameters. So this is very interesting. This is very interesting for them. As well as <coughs> one thing is, so uh, on this screen, when we observe the distribution of electrons and uh, the change in the distribution of electrons and uh, the change in the physical parameters. This is a very good thing. And then the application part, as well as you uh, can think about the its application part, it's, uh, it can be applied in a medical field because the materials is have to be there. And uh, uh, for the devices, that devices may be up to electronic devices. Nowadays, that electronic and up to electronic fields uh, are very abundant field, very big field. So, in the optical electronic devices, different electrochemical devices like cells, batteries, supercapacitors, and uh, even sensors. This is uh, actually the age of sensors. We are uh, developing a different uh, sensing devices. So, before fabricating any devices, before designing any devices, we need to know the characteristics of the materials being used in that device. And, uh, and the experimental part. What we do is just to be uh, sometimes we make uh, try and error uh, based uh, experiment is uh, I followed during my PhD work. But uh, uh, before going to that experimental lab or the designing lab or the fabrication lab of any devices, we must know about uh, uh, that materials and uh, that materials uh, for the for preparation of that material. This computational field is a uh, very important field because uh, uh, we can manipulate that uh, material in the electronic level, electronic level on the screen of the computer. So this is the chip, this is interesting and whatever uh, being uh, happening, in, in, there is any change in the material, one can visualize on the screen of that computer. Initially it was a uh, general uh, thought uh, about that, that computational field and this uh, molecular modeling that fields and simulation field that uh, it needs a very uh, huge amount of uh, computational uh, infrastructure but uh, now this is not uh, nowadays this is not true because uh, DFT actually balanced that computational time as well as that uh, accuracy of that computational so uh, one can start by using a simple uh, working laptop or desktop in our way 
and uh, for mixing some okay, of them, we need that if we see also, but for the simple, for the start that we need just the simple uh, i5, i2, the same one, that and 16 is the same. And uh, since this is uh, ma maximum or 50 bench tools, these are Linux based tools, so the basic knowledge of uh, Linux circuit is required. So, any PC level students, any graduate level students, uh, we have basic knowledge of physics. He is aware of that uh, electronics programs, electronics, economic structures, and some fundamental physics, they can start. So, uh, just the thinking, this is a very good uh, cues are very frequent, very difficult, very complicated, but this is not true. This is very interesting, very simple. Right? Anyone um, can start, but require three equations that, that the basic knowledge of that physics is important, and basic knowledge of problems is important. Okay. So what I can see or what I can sense is I know physics, I know part of physics. Now I really want to you know, have that visualization, that computation, uh, approximation kind of thing. And I have a system. I'm just running some Linux tool. I I, I learn how to code uh, simple scripts, and uh, I use some libraries, uh, specialized libraries for this, and I can play around and create uh, and. Uh, Simulate those things what I have read in my practical thought, uh, sorry, what I have read in my theoretical and giving in my practical thought. So, uh, how before even going to that thing, uh, I just I just uh, knew from your one of the social media posts that you recently visited to a conference, and I was more interested in knowing that how people are seeing this thing uh, on, on a wider prospect. Um, I, I came to know that some national international fraternities also joined that event and uh, you were really excited about that event. So I really wanted to know that this uh, domain in India, uh, how uh, this thing is being evolved, uh, what is your latest uh, uh, you know, insights uh, during that visit to that conference and, and, and more <coughs> things on that uh, conference, which type of research, uh, uh, which type of uh, you know, recent uh, involvement you saw on, on the student level, on peer level, and uh, on advanced level. So I would like to know about those things. So, in uh, that recent visit uh, was uh, in Arizal, Mizoram, that was uh, NIT Arizal. Uh, it was really one wonderful uh, uh, interesting workshop there, and uh, that was a uh, one week workshop. And this is actually uh, for seven, eight, 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 the workshop and this particular development this morning. So the first um, workshop we have organized in my institution that was in the international workshop and that is actually uh, the benchmark uh, workshop where uh, more than 60 candidates were uh, busy on the computer screen uh, out of 60 candidates, 46 candidates or out of Chattanooga. So that was a very big event and uh, now that in Missouri, this was the as a person. Actually, I have a, a good team and that is known as the sister team which organizes such a uh, weekly workshop. And uh, uh, since the last 10 years, uh, uh, we visited in different places uh, and uh, one more workshop was uh, two, uh, two parallel workshops in uh, two consecutive years in Delhi uh, uh, and one uh, that. Uh, Central University. So we have covered a different uh, national, international, and national uh, institutes uh, for the such books. And in a different books, uh, we have a different levels of students. Some we are uh, the PG students, uh, we are there, some we are that research scholars, and that research scholars are also uh, from a different uh, domains, uh, different disciplines, like some bio students are there. Some Physics students, chemistry students are there. And in the day, especially in the lab in Mizoram, um, maximum uh, numbers of uh, candidates were uh, in the graduate uh, 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 level students are also there. So that mechanical uh, students, and that mechanical level uh, student, one well, mechanical engineer uh, is uh, uh, trying to learn that uh, system, that radio based tool, really that was the same. And some questions, basic questions asked by uh, that uh, students uh, that was related to that, uh, that electronic configuration because that chemistry, 
electronic configuration and the distribution of electron and the structure of materials and space impact mechanical properties and that device application in solar cells and we discuss uh, a lot about this and some students uh, we are uh, from uh, uh, that uh, second or third year of uh, uh, their PhD work that was uh, from physics and the back chemistry so a very big geek between uh, among that uh, um, candidates the basic uh, meeting level students and the kind of the course even that some course have been students earlier so such type of challenge we have faced in a uh, different box every box we faced in a different box so sometimes what uh, we generally do uh, we uh, just categorize the students we created uh, we created uh, two groups one I am using uh, fundamental beginners group and second one is the advanced group the beginners group is Just to see you, uh, I think uh, um, they they are not uh, aware about even the Linux operating system. So we uh, start uh, our box up from the Linux group, and, uh, and in the second group we just uh, um, start working on uh, that DFT tools. There is no need of uh, uh, that what is that DFT is what is that. We just uh, out of that uh, and uh, start uh, that material properties and uh, that interpretation of results that was there uh, from that time. Even some. Uh, Advanced level properties uh, they try to uh, learn from uh, our group that the transport properties even the use of that machine learning in the their studies so that they should be advanced level studies so we are familiar with the uh, such uh, change in the levels and we are working uh, with uh, both both type of groups and uh, that's why the, all these actually uh, encourage uh, encourage me uh, to develop some courses. Where we can give contents to beginners, to the beginning level, and that advanced level students there must be uh, a separate contents for the advanced level students. So this is that uh, uh, motto uh, of uh, such uh, course we are trying to introduce here. Yes. So here we come, and uh, uh, as sir told that we are here bringing courses. For beginner, intermediate, and advanced level, and uh, this is this is something I'm also looking forward to. As few of my friends who are working in computational field in deep learning, uh, artificial intelligence, and when I discuss this thing with them, so they say, okay, DFT sounds very physics, and and how to get start with that? I don't know, or shall I read lots of book to even go to there? So this is that point where I can say, you know. Now I have a roadmap for you from where you need to begin, where from that point where you need to go, and what will be the outcomes of each module. So we are so uh, obliged that you are coming on board with us, uh, bringing all your three courses here from beginner to intermediate to advanced level, and 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 we are all looking forward to it. So uh, on skillless excellence uh, with uh, Dr. Mohan Lal Verma and his team. Uh, we are preparing three courses uh, targeting uh, different groups i can say uh, starting from very basics uh, as sir told that in his workshops and his uh, conferences the way you deal with uh, different different kind of kind of people starting from linux to dft to uh, more advanced level and uh, here we would like to introduce these three courses uh, information about these courses how to enroll How to access? What will be the cost? The schedule? What we will get? Uh, as a as a more than the video, as we are recording this video as a VOD. More than that, we will be giving the code repository for each of the experimentation we are going to perform. The objective of uh, the experimentation. What is the outcome? And your insight, your team's insights on that. And everything would be accessible to you on your devices, so no need for uh, you know sophisticated devices for your computation. You need your computer, Linux space uh, environment, but you can access it uh, data anywhere, wherever you want to access. You can access the code repository. You can read the manuals. Also, you will be given access to a forum where you can discuss with the like-minded people, share your insights, share your research, share your doubts, clear your doubts. So this way we are bringing this program to our Skillworks Excellence platform, and I'm really looking forward to it. That how it can benefit the people of different different kinds. 
So thank you so much, sir. And I had really, really a great beginning. I think this is a, a happy new gift to us uh, because we were discussing that we need to do something on this field, and 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 now we are here. Uh, now we are going to give the best of our knowledge and the best of uh, uh, DFT. When I say DFT, the best of that domain to when I say competition, the best of those things, and and we are looking forward to it. So thank you so much, sir, and and. Let's let's begin the journey of these tools, uh, learnings, and let's begin this. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll meet soon. We'll meet in the next episode of Skill Talks, and thank you so much. Thank you, sir. So I think uh, you will enjoy learning. And, uh, my motto, always say my motto is just to be happy to enjoy learning. And, uh, yes, the the piece itself is very interesting. So thank you, Lucas, for inviting me and. Uh, we will happy to work together for the students yes and for the learners learners of fg and, uh, and uh, there will be many questions from the viewers from the audience from the candidates and we will be available to uh, answer those questions sure sir so thank, thank you so much